Why did our enemies erase my memory? Am I really that dangerous? In my chest, my throat, on the tips of my fingers, I can feel the throb of the power that scares them so. It scares me too. It's not uncommon for new IPs to be a tough sell, and that's especially true towards the end of a console generation. Remember me from Capcom and French developer Don't Not Entertainment is hoping to fight those tough circumstances anyway with a unique take on the beat-em-up. When 2013 has already shaped up to be a good year for action games, Remember Me has a lot to prove in order to be truly memorable. So what's the verdict on Remember Me? Let's find out. Remember Me takes place in a futuristic world where memories are digitalized and traded through a device called the Sensen. Once thought to create happiness and end depression forever, the memory revolution has instead created addiction and corruption. One company in particular, Memorize, is responsible for the troubles of this new world. Nilan, the game's protagonist and former heirist, an agent who works to stop the influence of Memorize, is having her mind wiped at the game's outset. Yep, this means the return of the amnesia cliché, but at least it fits in the context of the world. Once Nilan escapes imprisonment, it's up to her to regain her stolen memories and stop Memorize and their reconvergence project at all costs. For a game that rips control from you as much as it does to tell its story, the narrative isn't as satisfying as it should be. Though a shift away from the white male protagonists that have dominated this industry is always a refreshing change of pace, Nilan just isn't a character to be excited about. The game eventually becomes fairly heartfelt, but I never felt fully invested in Nilan's struggle, and the justification behind one of the antagonist's motivations just ends up being really dumb. The voice acting is generally decent, but this wouldn't be a Capcom game without a fair share of cheese. Political ideals are so last millennium. You always waste so much saliva! At least 2084 Neo Paris is a neat setting for the game and features an art style vaguely reminiscent of Blade Runner. This may not be the most technically proficient game around, but it looks fine all the same. Remember Me is an uncompromisingly linear action game. The platforming is fairly basic, but the focus is generally on the game's combat. The beat-em-up gameplay is functional and you do have some ranged attacks as well. To complement this, you gradually unlock Sensen powered moves like the Logic Bomb that can really help you when things get hairy. What makes the combat unique is the Combo Lab, where you get to change what kinds of attacks you perform. As you play the game you unlock Press-Ins, which are attacks that do things like extra damage, cool down your sense and abilities, or regenerate your health. It's kind of neat that you have this control over what your combos do, but it's not going to be an industry standard for action games anytime soon. For one, in most circumstances when you have combos you're comfortable with, you'll only need to spam one or two of them. Worse, when you die with combos spec'd for a specific fight, you'll have to go back into the combo lab all over again, making certain encounters tedious. The actual feel of combat is underwhelming. Remember Me just doesn't have a rhythm or sense of force that makes action games so visceral. The combo lab doesn't really help. Going into the menu to change these settings isn't a lot of fun and breaks up the action. Half the fun of these kinds of games is racking up ridiculous combos, but this combat system doesn't allow you to chain your combos onto another enemy. The boss battles that are here range from fairly exciting to downright dull, but in all cases, the quick time events that punctuate them are boring. The platforming is functional, but it's no Assassin's Creed. It's fairly entertaining and shows some good camera work when it's trying to be cinematic, but it just doesn't evolve very much until the end, and when it does evolve, it's not for the best. The stealth that is here involves dodging automated drones that can kill you instantly when you're detected. These sections are somewhat puzzle-like, but they're rudimentary and not very fun. On top of that, some sections of the game are noticeably recycled. Where the game truly shows ingenuity is in its memory remix sections. Nilan has the ability to enter someone's memory and make them think a major life event played out in a different way, which could result in a character who would otherwise be an enemy turn to the errorist cause. Memory remixing is essentially a puzzle game where you search through a cinematic and tamper with predetermined glitches. It's enjoyable and features some intuitive controls, 
but these sections are too few and far between, and the puzzles that aren't the memory remix sections are lousy. Remember Me is a fairly bare bones experience that doesn't give you much reason to return after you've finished it. You're not graded on your performance, and there are no trial or survival modes. You can play the game through again with your unlocked powers and presence, but once you've finished a 9 to 10 hour story, you'll feel like you've had your fill of the game. Despite its few interesting ideas and cool setting, Remember Me is just too average for its own good. It's a functional action game, just not a very impressive one. Ironically, Remember Me just isn't very memorable. <laughs>